Hypertension is defined as blood pressure of 140 over 90 millimeters mercury or greater. The main goal of treatment is to decrease the risk of mortality and of cardiovascular and renal morbidity. The signs and symptoms of hypertension include headache, dyspnea, high blood pressure, possible retinopathy and visual changes, chest pain, and sensory or motor problems. There can also be signs of end organ damage due to hypertension if the hypertension is untreated and severe. We will talk about end organ damage towards the end of the video. So what is blood pressure? Well, it is the product of cardiac output and the total peripheral vascular resistance. So here is a heart pumping blood out. This is the cardiac output. And together with the total peripheral resistance makes up the average blood pressure. Risk factors for hypertension are obesity, high alcohol intake, metabolic syndrome, diabetes, high sodium intake, sleep apnea, dyslipidemia, old age, and family history. Hypertension can be a disease in itself, or it can be secondary to another condition, an underlying disease. Let us look at the differential diagnoses. Hypertension can be categorized as primary, also known as essential hypertension, or secondary hypertension, which is hypertension as a result of an underlying, often reversible cause. Primary hypertension is basically genetics and lifestyle. Secondary causes of hypertension include coarctation of the aorta, pheochromocytoma, hyperaldosteronism, Cushing syndrome, renal artery stenosis, chronic kidney disease, polycystic kidney disease, nephritic and nephrotic syndrome, obstructive uropathy, hyperthyroidism, and hyperparathyroidism. There's also sleep apnea, chronic alcohol use, use of oral contraceptives, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, illicit drugs such as cocaine or methamphetamine, and preeclampsia in females. So those again were some causes of secondary hypertension. The pathological vascular changes that occur in hypertension occur slowly. Normal vessels have good blood flow. However, in hypertension, and as hypertension progresses, there is vascular changes, remodeling and hypertrophy. In the early stages, you begin to have plaque buildup and thickening of the vessel wall. And in the late stage, you get even more plaque buildup due to the dysfunction of the endothelial vascular wall. And you also get hypertrophy. All these changes result in narrowing of the lumen and buildup in vascular pressure, resulting in or aggravating hypertension. These vascular changes can eventually result in end organ damage, which includes stroke, retinopathy, transient ischemic attack, left ventricular hypertrophy, cardiac failure, and renal failure. Some investigations that should be performed in a patient with hypertension include ECG or electrocardiogram to check for cardiac function, urinalysis for renal function, and serology tests such as plasma renin, plasma aldosterone, the thyroid function test, and for blood count to rule out other differentials and to monitor hypertension. Management of hypertension include exercise, reducing salt intake, being on a proper diet, limit alcohol intake, smoking cessation, and use of antihypertensives such as ACE inhibitors. 